Hunger in Latin America and the Caribbean is at its highest point in two decades, UN says while the coronavirus poses its own health threat, the pandemic's economic fallout has also meant empty cupboards. Months of lockdowns and travel restrictions hit informal jobs in particular, in a region where missing work one day can mean having little to eat the next. Women are going hungrier than men across the region, the UN found, as food insecurity disproportionately affects the most vulnerable people in society. In 2020, approximately 42% of women experienced moderate or severe food insecurity, compared with 32% of men. That disparity has consistently widened in recent years, the report said, with a spike from 6.4% to 9.6% in the first year of the pandemic. Julio Berdag, regional representative for the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization called the overall situation critical adding that the pandemic had dramatically intensified existing food insecurity, the hardest hit regionally, Central American countries are faring the worst. In Guatemala, around half of the population is experiencing food insecurity. And in El Salvador and Honduras, those figures are nearly as stark, with around 47% and 46% of their populations going hungry, respectively. These three countries, collectively known as the Northern Triangle, are the jumping-off points for migrant caravans making their way to the United States' southern border in search of a better life. Meanwhile, another form of malnutrition is plaguing the region, obesity. With services disrupted and livelihoods devastated, families are finding it harder to put healthy food on the table, leaving many children hungry and others overweight, said Jean Goff, UNICEF Regional Director for Latin America and the Caribbean. For children to grow up healthy, we need to ensure all families access affordable, nutritious food. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.